I am Priyanshi from DSC Kit, and I'm going to be continuing with our tutorial series on the C programming language. Our topic for today is setting up a development environment in Windows. So for that, we need a text editor. So I will be showing you the entire task with Visual Studio Code, which is highly recommended from my side, but feel free to use any editor you want. Now, in this video, I will show you how to run C programs within the VS Code terminal itself. And if you're using any other editor, then I will show you how to do that in the command prompt too. So for that, first we need to install Visual Studio Code. The link is in the description and uh, it will take you to here. Now you can download this for Windows. Uh, the instructions are pretty simple. And after you do that, um, navigate to any directory folder you want where you want to save your C programs and then create a new folder. And give it any name. I'll be giving it a very generic C programs name. And then from the command prompt, navigate to that folder. So my folder is in C drive and then CD to and the name of the folder. And once you're here, just type code space and a dot. This will open up Visual Studio Code in that folder. As you can see, we have created an empty folder. So the C programs are here, but this is empty. So let's create a C file in it. Name it anything you like. So I'll be naming it test.c and see it automatically recognizes what kind of file it is. So once you do that, you'll see several extensions popping up. So I'll just show you what the CC++ extension this is recommending. And the CC++ extension is for line completion. Uh, it makes debugging really easier and um, it simply beautifies and your code writing experience it makes it easier. Uh, so we'll go ahead and install that. And uh, to run the C programs in our VS Code terminal itself, we need Code Runner. So we'll go ahead and install that too. So once we're done, we'll go back to our test.c file and type in some C code. Don't worry about the syntax here, just copy what I am doing. And you can see line completion is already available. Really makes the job easier. This is a really simple C program. Just to make sure we're getting the correct output. So that's it. Save this. Now, once you've done that, just go ahead and click on this little triangle here and run it. And in the output, you can see that GCC is not recognized as an internal or external command. Well, we wanted the output. Hello, if we got this. This is the time we talk about compilers. So for the compiler, we'll be installing TDM GCC. The link is in the description and it will take you to this website here. Now just click on download. And it started a download here. Now this Download will depend upon your internet speed. So I'm going to skip ahead this part. So you can see that our download for the installer is complete. Now click on this. And then you create a new TDM GCC installation. Okay. Uncheck this box, box and click next. Click next 
I usually go with the defaults, but uh, you can save TDM GCC in any directory you want. Next, uh, the default again. Uh, this will help you run C and C++ programs. And then click on install. And we will wait while this installs. This will also take a few minutes, so I'm going to skip ahead. So you can see our installation was complete. Click on next. And if you want, you can clear, read the TDM GCC readme file. Uh, but we'll go ahead and uncheck that and click on finish. Now, if you go to the folder where you saved your TDM GCC, which is C drive, you'll we'll see the TDM GCC 64 is installed here. And go ahead and click on that. Go to bin and you can see all the executable files are here. Now we'll just go ahead and copy this path here and then go to your search box and type edit environment variables. It will pop up like this. Now what we're going to do is add this part to the user parts available here. Click on edit and then click on new and then just paste this path here. Click on OK. OK. And you're done. Now, if you go back to OK, we need to restart this. Exit this. Go to your command prompt and type code space dot again. Now, if we try to run our dot C file, click on this in little triangle here. Yay, it prints hello. So we are done for that. Uh, we have executed a C file in the VS Studio Code terminal itself. And now if you're using any other editor, I'll show you how to do that in command prompt. Open your command prompt. And then type in the, okay, I'll just show you what's happening with the C programs directory. So if you are not using VS code, you'll just have this test.c here. And then type in GCC and the name of your C file. If you click on that, it will compile the program and create an executable file called A here since we have not given it any name. So just go ahead and type A and here we have the output of whatever was in test.c. Now if you want to give it a name, click on GCC minus O for output. Give it a name called test output and then the name of our file test.c. Now it will create a file specifically named, sorry, executable file specifically named test output. Now, if you go ahead and type test output here, here we have hello. So that was it from my side today. Um, feel free to comment down in the sec comment section below if you still are facing any problems or you can reach out at our Twitter handles. Thank you.